What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado in my lab and it's been about three days since we inoculated our spores um, on Christmas Eve. And I wanted to do a follow-up video with the liquid cultures to see how those progressing. So if you haven't checked out the video yet, it's called Immaculate Inoculation. Um, I'll post the link in the description below. But basically, we inoculated a bunch of different spores onto petri dishes to start our breeding project for 2022. And um, one of the methods that I used was to go from spore directly into a liquid culture. So I did that with um, cordyceps, which was a sterile culture. So here's the cordyceps culture. Um, there's a few tiny floaters starting, so that's a really good sign. And then the King Strafaria, which I had, I left it on the stir plate um, for about 12 hours. And you can see some really nice colonies forming. So a lot of people ask me, why would you go from spore into liquid culture? It's pretty risky. And I do agree with that. But the upside is that it's going to save a ton of time. And by having a 3D matrix, where the mycelium can grow, it can grow a lot faster and it can be more selective and have a better chance of finding a mating pair. But the downside is that there could be other contaminants that come along with the liquid culture or with the spores into the liquid culture and that's what we see here. So I have this Matsutake culture and it's been about 72 hours and see how turbid that water is or the the broth is compared to the king strafaria so a really great screening method to determine if there's bacteria in your liquid culture is called a turbidity test so when bacteria are in solution they're constantly multiplying and that's creating what appears to be um, a diluent in the solution which causes it to become turbid so a really quick and easy method is called the turbidity test um, it's more of a screening method if you want to verify if there's bacteria you're going to have to plate these out on agar but you can take any piece of paper with some writing on it so this is um, our discount code from mushroom media online so if you're ever buying mushroom media pellets um, you can use our code FFF happy five to receive 5% off. Um, I just thought it would be really cool to give you guys a discount. It adds up if you're buying bulk um, pellets. So definitely check out Mushroom Media. Shout out to Sel um, Seth over at Mushroom Media. He does a really good job. And we also have um, a link on our Amazon storefront to these different types of pellets. So um, I'll put that in the description as well but um, onto the turbidity test. So it's really easy. All you have to do is take some text and place it behind your liquid culture. And you can see right now that you can't read any of the words, but if I move over to this liquid, these two liquid cultures, I should say, where there's no bacteria present, you can clearly see the words. So, I know that some people like to use different compounds in their liquid culture and that could affect this screening test, but for me, I just use um, pure filtered honey and that way it produces a nice clear solution where you can easily see those mycelium colonies starting. So I'll have to go ahead and redo this Matsutake. I'm really excited to try and plant these in our... Um, and our new property among the ponderosa pine so what i'm going to do is dilute that original spore solution probably about threefold and hopefully um, by doing that it will dilute out those bacteria and i might have to inoculate four or five different liquid cultures to get some mycelial growth all right guys i hope you enjoyed that quick update and um, explanation of the turbidity test Go check out Mushroom Media. Check out our new affiliate Amazon page if you're looking forward to um, ordering some 
pellets or we've got all of our lab gear on there that I recommend. Um, all right, until next time, much love.